Heyo, Weibo here, your least favorite degenerate, and uh, this is basically Persona 4. Alright, story time. Once upon a time, there was this great haired teen named Chad Yu that, you know, impregnated the whole town, bullied a cabbage loving boy, and casually killed a god with the power of friendship. Okay, we may need to rewind just a little bit. So our protagonist, Narukami, Chad Yu before he became a Chad, arrives in the town of Moria where he goes to live with Daddy Dojima, actually his uncle, and Nanako. On the way, he meets totally not a god pulling the strings in the background of the entire story only to be revealed at the end of the game, Izanami, the gas station worker. Anyway, once Narukami gets home and goes to bed, he's transported to the Horny Realm after watching too much Trap Loli Hentai. Once he reaches the end of the Horny Realm, he meets the who, after saying, nah lol, you weak, dips, and then wakes Narukami up. But Mr. Narukami has a school to attend, so he goes the next day where he meets the trash man, obligatory tomboy, and unfunny. He's told about a rumor regarding being able to see your soulmate at the TV at midnight while it's raining, specific I know. So, like a completely sane person, he tries it. When he stares into the TV, all he can see is Ricardo, and, of course, being bewildered by such beauty, he reaches out for it. Like a complete fucking dumbass, Narukami decides he should tell the people he just met, and, of course, they don't believe him, yet still humor him enough to take him to the electronic aisle of June S. He then sticks it in, and Trashman and Obligatory Tomboy are so shocked that they all fall into the booth zone. In the booth zone, they meet a furry called Teddy, and after rightfully bullying him, Narukami and Trashman head out deeper into the booth zone to investigate the recent murders. There, Narukami awakens to his first soda, and Trashman has to face his dark inner self. Once that nerd was obliterated, Trashman obtains his persona and they dip from the booth zone before getting too high. So anyway, by the end of the game, they end up cornering Mr. Red Herring over here, and after kindly yoinking Nanako, he turns into a fucking god. <sighs> I thought we could escape this fucking trope for two minutes, but no! We can't even wait for the end of the game to fight a god, now can we? <sighs> anyway, once the gang kills their first god, they can finally go home. But wait! There's more! And since Nanako dies from stage 4 drug, the gang decides to do the only rational thing and yeet Mr. Red Herring into the TV. But what if they caught on to Mr. Red Herring being a Red Herring? So after figuring out that he is indeed a Red Herring and not the actual killer, they go on their quest to find the real killer who is... Nanako? <laughs> ほう、向かってくるのか。見えずにこのディオに近づいてくるのか。せっかくそこの女説が私のザワールドの正体を試験終了タイム直前まで問題を解いている受験生のような必死こいた気分で教えてくれたというのに近づかなきゃてめえを